everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, Merry Yule, uh, Sensei Grizzly, for your December 2019 Ask the Grizzly episode. I am here with my friend and student, Grigorovich, who is going to be <laughs> helping me to teach some armbar setups and transitions from two different top positions. So this question was sent in from West Virginia. Hope it helps. All right, so come around this way. When uh, your Gracie Jiu Jitsu was brought initially to the US um, through like the Modern Army Combatives Program, the way that it was shown was like you waited for a guy to like push on your chest with the heel of his hand, like he's trying to push you up. And then you would get like this hand over hand grip, bounce to this position and rotate over for the arm. Obviously the problem with that is that like trained opponents like is suit one, someone that's got any like kind of training and knows that arm bars is not gonna extend his hand like this voluntarily. He may grab a handful of gi and pull you in, but he's not just gonna extend his arm. But let's say it does get that far, as soon as you do this, he is yanking that arm to the floor and now he's gone. So my way of setting this up is, you know, whether he's grabbing here or we're in the grip fight here, what I'm trying to do is to force this elbow across his body as such. And I'm gonna trap that like I'm hipping in and I'm trapping that with my chest. So if he tries to yank that arm back, it's really hard. Not impossible, but very hard. From here, I'm now rotating, 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 and sucking the space up so he can't roll backwards. With this arm, I'm punching through so the pocket of my elbow is touching his. It's my preference to kind of get into like the Z-mount position so that I'm really, really stuck to him. Now, all the time, a mistake that people will make is they'll throw this leg over and then they'll roll back and he's already rolling up on me because his head wasn't really secure. Not poor Gregory around. <laughs> Gregorovich. Gregorovich. <laughs> so what I prefer to do is, remember, you can't go into the face mask area like if you're doing this for sport. I mean, of course, for hand-to-hand -hand combat, do what you want. So for sport, I tend to target with the heel of my hand just the, the corner of his jaw. And I shove his head to the floor, keeping this tight, planting this foot, and that way he's not able to sit up on me. I'm pinching tight here, and he's already tapping out. You want to make sure the thumb is to the ceiling, you're pinching tight with the knees, two cocaine grips, and you're simultaneously pulling down as you hip up. It takes very little. If you got someone that's extra flexible, sometimes you gotta put it under the armpit. Just food for thought. Occasionally you'll get people that wanna play grabby hands. There's all kinds of tricks for like trying to get them to let go. Some people like to do the pinch with the feet, okay? I'm kinda known for foot in the bicep, okay? And then like Coach Leo likes to rake at the other fingers with his forearm to get the hand to let go. We're sitting down in the arm. But that's like your standard Juji Katami. Now, another place that I tend to get a lot of arm bars and I've had some success in tournaments is if you got a guy that's belly down and he's in stalling position for judo or sambo, okay? Typically what I'm gonna do is again, I'm going to shove this arm through and I'm shoving the head down, controlling the head. So I'm gonna step and step and then sit down. You see how his arm is already yanking out into position to get into the same Juji Katami position. Really hard for him to resist that once you've got this arm so deep that the anticubital space of your elbow is, is married up to his. Okay, so again, I like to reach through and try to grab this handful of forearm. And I'm gonna shove his head down. Already, his arm is starting to open up, really pinching tight here. And he can grab a hold of my leg if he wants to, that's fine. But I'm gonna step over and do this elevator arm bar. 
in a position with the Juji Katana. You'll notice that in both cases, I am shoving his head to the mat so that he is not so easily able to like try to roll up on me or to wriggle out of position. And it is part of what forces the arm to offer itself up for the arm bar. So you've got your standard cross arm bar Juji Katami for mount, okay, using that ratchet method and the hand across the jaw from the Z mount. And then you have the elevator arm bar from the back take where you're shoving his head to the floor so that you can start to punch through and get that elevator arm bar into the Juji Katami position. So I am Sensei Grizzly. This is Grigorovich. This is your December 2019 Ask the Grizzly episode. See you on the mats.